Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here, and I really, really wish I could be in a nice, happy mood, but the whole, my, my original intention of this video, since I barely ever get on camera, was to talk about Undertaker's streak being broken, because every year I like to kind of, you know, discuss oh, WrestleMania. It's a big event, you know, I'm a wrestling fan. But the the passing, the very untimely passing and the chain of events that led to the death of the Ultimate Warrior on May 8th, 2014, are very eerie and surreal to me. I mean, the guy finally returns to wrestling. I mean, it's been forever. I mean, not, he wrestled some matches overseas and things, but... From to return to WWE television, you know, had the whole Hall of Fame deal, the whole WrestleMania deal, shows up on Raw and makes this, oh, when you watch it now, that speech where he talks about, you know, how when, when you, you know, everyone's heart beats its last beat, you know, you take your last breath, or maybe I'm getting the words wrong or whatever, but, you know, we will, as long as we've touched people through our lives, we will all, you know, you live on through others. It's very, it's a little... Just it kind of hit home to me because he was my favorite wrestler when I was a kid. I mean, I grew out of him. You know, I started to like Bret Hart more, and then kind of turned into the RVD. Anyway, the fact is, you know, my favorite wrestling childhood memory is WrestleMania six, when Ultimate Warrior beat Hogan clean and held up the Intercontinental Championship and the World Wrestling Federation Championship, and left after defeating Hogan clean. It was awesome to me as an 11 year old kid. What did I know? But, oh, wait, wait, wait. There you go. Chuck Norris, shit, is going to deck your halls. One of my wife's funny uh, present t-shirts for me, Bob. Anyway, I just really did want to say, uh, rest in peace, Ultimate Warrior. Thank you very much for all the memories. This bud's for you. Oh, before I forget, Pretty good game, guys. Not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, kind of short. I don't know if it's worth 30 fucking dollars, but whatever. This is a must-buy. <laughs> if you have a PS4, you have to pick this up. So I figured I'd have to throw in some video game shit in here a little bit, right? But uh, about the Undertaker streak. I personally think Brock Lesnar was the perfect guy to end it, okay? There, there's a lot of reasons why. Uh, I don't really need to get into why Brock was the one who did it. Everybody should know by now, though. The Undertaker handpicked him to be the one to end it, okay? Undertaker wanted to lose. Um, it, that's a fact, guys, okay? He's wanted to lose the streak for a while. No one would accept it. No one wanted to beat him. I mean, he, he, originally, the rumor is, is that he wanted Randy Orton to defeat him way back whenever the hell that was to solidify the legend killer. Randy Orton didn't want anything to do with it. Um, I personally think Undertaker should have retired at the Hell in a Cell match he had. You know, that was his third match against uh, Triple H. He should have won that match, and that should have been the end. End of an era, end of Undertaker. Should have retired. Shouldn't have wrestled CM Punk last year. But anyway, the streak ended, folks, because Undertaker wanted it to. I just, that needs to be thrown out there. I mean, I don't have, you know, supreme backstage knowledge of uh, the working of wrestling, but I know for a fact, I've, I do have some connections that Undertaker wanted to lose, and he handpicked Brock to be the guy to do it, and I think Brock is the perfect one to do it. I mean, a lot of people say he's a part-timer and all that. It doesn't matter. He's fucking Brock Lesnar. But, uh, yeah, Undertaker Street coming to an end, I thought was a good thing. I, I think he's done. I don't think we're going to ever see him. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame next year, by the way. I fucking guarantee. I promise you. 2015 Hall of Fame. Undertaker's going right in. But, uh, again, that's about all I got to say for you guys. Baseball season's underway. Giants started 6-2. and two. I'm happy about that. So, anyway, guys, this is kind of a rambling video, I guess. Just uh, wanted to kind of let you guys know that uh, I've been very busy. I'm No excuses or anything, but I'll be pumping out some more videos as I can. I've got a lot of shit going on this time of year. But thank you, each and every one of you guys, for subscribing and watching my videos. My channel would not be what it is without all of your support. Once again, I will continue 
to answer all you know messages to my inbox comments I will do my best to stay on top of all that and help you guys out the best I can so stay tuned for some more Dark Souls 2 and got a couple more random shit I'm gonna put up there too so hope you guys have a good day and uh, rest in peace warrior you'll be missed peace out guys